This video emphasizes the importance of anticipation when driving on country roads and close encounters with agricultural vehicles to, of course, be avoided. It features Celia the Crocodile. Hi there, Celia. Good to see you again. Who represents a 40-year-old female who almost passed but over 20 years ago. She restarted her lessons five years ago but did not continue because of a close encounter with an agricultural vehicle with, she tells me, tyres as wide as a small car. That can happen. Yes, you do need to anticipate that. Okay. On a blind bend. Again, appropriate speed. Um, and leading for her to a severe whiplash injury. That was, of course, very unfortunate. Um, now, the farmer driving the big beast hardly noticed the encounter. She now urgently needs to relearn driving to be able to get from home to a new sales rep job and a happy, snappy life following a divorce. Like your positivity, Celia. Never easy to navigate, of course, but um, it's good to have um, motivation to move on in her life and this requires that she passes the practical driving test as soon as possible. She has recently had the assessment day with the Fly High Driving Academy. Well done. That went well, didn't it? Extremely well, yeah. Okay, it's good to know. Um, that remarkably exorcised her driving demons and reviewed the basic driving procedures on residential roads, town roads, junctions, roundabouts, etc. Now, in advance of the agreed four-day follow-on um, in-car practical driving course, she has now purchased and independently worked through videos 1 to 54 of the Fly High Driving Academy Complete Learner Driver Video Course Package. This is day one of the four-day in-car follow-on course. The focus of today is the importance of of anticipation when driving on country roads. Okay, are we ready for this, Celia? Yes, yes, you're very impressed with the assessment day. You now feel very confident and ready to go. That's really good to know. Um, first of all, Celia, what is the sales rep job that you need the license for? <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely super. She says it's a sales rep um, job promoting a new restaurant chain called the Happy Snappy Fish Restaurant. Made for the job, eh? <laughs> she says that's why she got it. <laughs> okay, that is absolutely superb. Okay, well, it's good to have motivation. <laughs> So, Celia, what do you remember about country driving? She says that it was very scary. Well, it was scary because it went wrong. And it went wrong because you clearly didn't adopt an appropriate speed um, for the driving situation. Okay. Yeah, okay. She says it was a national speed limit road, 60 miles an hour. Okay, but what you need to take on board, Celia, is, of course, that um, the posted speed limit does not mean you have to get to that speed if the situation doesn't allow it. It's the, the whole concept of appropriate speed is up to the posted speed limit. And you've got to use the hazard response, um, anticipate what could be there, and drive at a speed that allows you to stop well within the distance you can see, to be clear. But we will practice that, okay? Yes, you do need to anticipate the big agricultural vehicles, yeah. So also animals running out. Sometimes the light conditions are um, changing because of the overhang of um, tree canopy. Yeah, what else? Mud on the road, very good. What else? Puddles on the road, yes, yes. Wet leaves on the road, absolutely. Yeah, but try to just 
take this on board that when you're going around a bend you need to anticipate what's there and you need to drive at the speed that allows you to stop within that distance you can see to be clear and if you go too fast and someone else is going too fast coming around the bend or they're just not concentrating for for whatever reason yes you can have a um a nasty situation developing there but the whiplash is better now okay well that's good to know you do need to get behind the wheel all right, because we did have a really good assessment day. Um, your basic driving is good. We just need to give you some experience um, applying the hazard response um, and, crucially, coast. Do you remember me talking about coast? She does. That's good. Concentration, observation, anticipation that gives you space and time to respond. Okay, so it also links to the fundamentals of control observation response. That's all making sense to you. She's really keen to get on. Okay, we are going to get you behind the wheel. Okay, um, and we'll have a drive around some country roads. Okay, um, and let's try not to make it too snappy, eh? When you can't stop in that distance. Okay, so... You need to hop over to the passenger seat just initially. Um, I will give a demonstration as required. And then, of course, you can have a go. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great. Celia, are you sure you need to be there? It's not really giving you an adequate view of what's ahead because you're going to be sitting here, aren't you? I'm going to give you the demonstration drive. Okay, so you're, you want to sit there first with your amphibian grip, <laughs> okay, <laughs> or your crocodilian grip, should I say, and then that'll give you a better view as we approach the bends, and then we'll do the same route when you're behind the wheel. Okay, we can do that. Okay, as long as you're not going to go flying. So we are in a country village location. We're going to make some progress. Um, it will be initially 30 miles an hour, but it will go to national speed limit, the single carriageway for a car that is 60, but remember, up to 60, depending on th the situation, all right, which, will, which will determine the appropriate speed, especially with bends. But let's um, see what we can demonstrate. So we're just going to focus on the appropriate hazard response because all the other stuff was good. I mean, you need to practice it, okay? But um, yeah, let's really focus on the hazard response in country roads. So I'm just going to demist actually while we're here. That's good. Okay, so let's make our way. to make our way out of the location. It's fairly narrow road here. Now you do need to anticipate um, dogs, cats, kids, etc. See there's some, some concealed entries and we've got pedestrians on the road there with a walk, uh, walking his dog. So obviously that could bring tra traffic round into the middle so um, be aware. Okay. And I'm making progress. Notice it's 30. And there are concealed entrances. You can still have urban deer, say cat, kids, dogs. <coughs> there was actually a little sign there saying there's a dog in that, that residency. Yeah, these are all quite um, concealed entrances. Um, you do need to be mindful. And we're going to turn here. There's a little bit blind there. And round we come. Now this is also um, a country village location. Okay, now what's ahead? Obviously there's a fairly blind bend with a car. So just mirrors, cover, assess. And then make some progress when you can see. Obviously concealed entrances here. And we're actually going to use this to turn around. And we're going to come back on ourselves. Okay.
and that's too tight for second so brake cuts down first gear it's very very tight actually so tight we may not we may need to have to go up the curb but it's very tight gonna put the lights on to see when, it, when you need to get that speed down because it's so close either side that's what you do that's on the clutch is it a second gear yes it is we covered this last time in the assessment day and you did really well so so gas to get there now oncoming has priority so just practicing the hazard response covering the brake in second reasonable clearance okay mirrors and gas let's get there to the end of the road is it a third gear? No, it's not. We've got a parked car on the left, right on top of the junction. So we do need to respond to this. At the end of the road, we are going to turn left. We do need to keep the speed down because we're anticipating cars coming at speed, um, turning left into the junction. Okay, so now with control, 45 check. It is a narrow road, but it's still 30. And there are still these um, concealed entrances. There's mud on the road. It's not raining, but... Um, and again, we do need to get there. We're going to position over a little bit to the offside to see, and then come over. When it's really narrow, you can position the car to give you the best view around the bend. Now, the thing is, I'm just going to gently gas around this bend, Celia, and then mirrors gas through because I could stop in the distance I could see. It still applies even though it's 30 now. Ahead is national speed limit, single carriageway, up to 60. Okay, so try to look ahead and be aware of what's around. Oh, gives you the heads up. There could be um, um, pedestrians on the road. We are gonna go into third again. Horse riders, agricultural vehicles. I mean, we can see a long way ahead. We're looking for passing places on this a very narrow single track road and the hazard response is going to kick in about now I'm going to look ahead around and assess so I'm just covering and I am going to gently break and I am going to match the gear holding back in case I have to allow oncoming to use that driveway there mirrors and gas okay so we're applying that principle that you need to apply um, it's slightly faster road situations so quiet lane ends doesn't mean the hazards are not going to uh, kick in right so we are going to turn left here I am just covering till I can see and make some progress now this is a very narrow lane we've got the canopy wet uh, slightly wet road mud on the road I'm clocking the passing places and there is some water on the road lots of mud in the center I'm actually going to put the full beam in does that help no it doesn't looking for parking places making progress this is a 60 mile an hour road and at the moment we're doing 20 in second okay so if anything does come we're looking for places we can stop and let um, either maneuver into or let oncoming maneuver in on their side but it's I'm just trying to guess now there is water on the road okay so we we can't steer around it we have to go through it so I'm just covering and assessing looking up the bend of the hill so it's literally maintain the lock avoid the potholes second gear just covering and we do need to make a little bit of progress towards the hazard which is the bend and the hill we got the canopy there and we're going back to 30 so, so had there been an aquacultural vehicle there we could have responded Celia okay so you want to have a go okay we'll find somewhere to pull up and you can have a go so that is the end of this video now I trust that this has given you a useful take on the importance of anticipation when driving on country roads and how to avoid those close encounters with, for example, agricultural vehicles. So to review Celia, what would you say is the essence of good country road driving? Getting to the speed of the road, absolutely, okay. But what would hold you back? Yes, when you can anticipate what could be there and you can't actually stop 
at the speed that you're going. Um, so you have to apply this rule, yeah? Drive at the speed that allows you to stop well within the distance you can see to be clear. So especially going round bends, yeah. Um, and you want to make sure you don't go too slowly on approach, okay? And then mirrors gas make progress to the speed of the road again, but always anticipating. So it's also the potential hazard response, isn't it? That is basically anticipating, yeah? Anticipating what could be there. Okay, so you don't want to get caught out like that again, do you? Okay. Um, and it's, yes, yes, it definitely applies on navigating narrow, blind country bends. Well, that's good that, that you've taken that on board. So when I demonstrated that, it seemed to make sense to you. And when you had a go, it did work, didn't it? Yeah, early hazard response, coming off the gas, checking your mirrors, assessing how much you need, how much speed you need to get off, maybe looking to drive through, but it's really tight. You're going to be covering the brake in the lower gear, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, you did really well, actually, to, to take that on board. Yeah, she says that's because there was no agricultural vehicle coming at her again. But the thing is, though, Celia, it, it went badly wrong because you didn't do that. Yeah? Had that happened again, you would be ready to respond to avoid any kind of um, injury for you or the oncoming. I think that's really good. Now, obviously, we're going to continue with um, the rest of the follow-on course, but we, we seem to have actually exorcised that demon and actually put the strategies in place. So that's really good. Well done. So please don't forget the YouTube stuff below and I look forward to seeing you in the next Furry Friend video that will feature Toe the Tiger. Until then, in a while, crocodile, and do enjoy your happy snappy driving.